In this second video, we'll cover what Vault Cache is from an end-user perspective. We'll talk about accessing archive data in Outlook using the Enterprise Vault Outlook add-in and how that data can be accessed when you're on the road. We'll also talk a little bit about the situations which might arise where only part of your archive data might be available. Emails which have been archived by Enterprise Vault have different icons, which mean it's easy for an end user to identify them. As a reminder, here are some of the different ones you might see. The three most common icons relating to archive content are shown on this screen. Pending archive means that the items have been archived by Enterprise Vault, but are not yet completely archived and secure. Archived items are those which are secured and in your archive. From time to time you might also see pending restore icons, but these are usually only seen briefly. Secure in this context means that the item has been backed up or replicated in a supported EV manner. Accessing this archived content can be done in a number of different ways when you're on the corporate network or if it's been configured when you're connecting to corporate email over the internet. You can access the items by using Search, Archive Explorer and Virtual Vault. The simplest way though is just to double click on an item. There's at least one but in this though. What happens when you're on the road or in a situation where you don't have an internet connection? The problem with the normal approach of double clicking on an item is that the Enterprise Vault Outlook add-in needs to connect to the Enterprise Vault server to get the item from your archive. How can it do that without a network connection? No network means no item can be retrieved. That is, unless you have Vault Cache. There are several settings and configuration tweaks that Enterprise Vault administrators can do. But by and large, the purposes of Vault Cache is to provide you with a local copy or cache of your archived emails. When you double click an archived item when Vault Cache is configured, the Enterprise Vault Outlook add in will first try to find the item in your local cache and display it to you. If it's not found, it will try, if it can, to go to the Enterprise Vault server and get the data. Vault Cache, once it's enabled, will build in the background, even taking into account network interruptions such as when your laptop is suspended and resumed whilst the build is taking place. From then onwards, Vault Cache data is synchronised automatically, but it's also possible to synchronise Vault Cache manually if the administrator allows this. Here's a screenshot of the synchronisation information showing when data was last synchronised. In recent versions of the Enterprise Vault Outlook add-in, if recent synchronizations have failed, you will be informed. Here is a screenshot of the synchronization window that's accessible when a manual synchronization has been initiated. It shows important things like the number of items which will be uploaded and downloaded. There are a few reasons why you as an end user might not get all of your archived data stored locally in Vault Cache. This is usually down to the configuration options chosen by the Enterprise Vault Administrator, for example, in relation to the maximum allowed size of Vault Cache. It's also possible, if you have a large archive, that the data simply hasn't finished building yet. Finally though, one way that you might not get all the data is that the old data might have been pushed out to make way for new data. This is usually tied in with size limits, and you can check those on the screen shown on the previous slides. In summary, Vault Cache gives you, the end user, the capability to access archived emails when you're not connected to the corporate network. It's also helpful when users are connected to the corporate network since the retrieval of archived items can be faster because it's coming from your local cache, rather than the Enterprise Vault server itself. One thing worth remembering is that Vault Cache is only available to Outlook users, with the Enterprise Vault Outlook add-in installed. I hope that this overview of Vault Cache is useful to you. Thanks for your time. Goodbye.